All right, I'm playing around with a Spanish Burton. It's a method of rigging to compound your mechanical advantage. So what I have set up here, we start with the first anchor, the white rope, anchored at the top, comes down to a pulley at the load, goes up to a pulley at the top, anchored, comes back down, terminates in a loop, on that loop we have another pulley we've got the orange rope different rope now different pulley system uh, hence the compound uh, it's a pulley system that needs two different pieces of rope so we're multiplying advantage the orange rope has a two to one the side on the left is the side that you pull that's the fall the side on the right goes down to this carabiner with the pulley over here. So when I pull with one unit of force on the fall on the orange rope, I've got also a one unit of force on the load. We'll come back to that later, but I've got two units of force. It's a two to one onto the white line system, which is a two to one. It's this pulley's doing the work and that's just a redirect. Um, <clears throat> So we've got a two to one system with the white that goes down to a two to one with the orange. And that should multiply to give us a four plus that one that's going back in. The catch is since, uh, well, if, if I was to suspend myself from the, the load and also be the one pulling up, the frame of reference changes and the white rope system becomes a three to one, I believe. Um, so in that case, when I'm hanging from it and pulling on it, we've got a seven to one system because you, you multiply a two by a three and then add the one. But here, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put my foot in the yellow swing while holding the fall. And I'm going to sort of play with the weights and see if I can show you the two load cells as they play around. I think we're dealing here with a 5 to 1 system that's only using three pulleys and two separate pieces of rope. So there's my foot. There's my hand. Both scales are were zeroed for a second there. Now as I put some weight on the one, you can see we're at about 50 pounds on the right, and we're doing, you know, 11 or 12 pounds on the left. Hmm. That was pretty good. That was a 60 and a 15. There you go. 54 and 12. That's excellent. Uh, 12, call it 13 times 5 is 50, 65. Hmm. I don't know, I need to do this better. Seventy one and seventeen. <clears throat> seventeen times four is forty sixty eight. So right there, that would tell you we're more than a four. Because if we were at a four, there's no way the load could have been over sixty eight. I'm pretty sure this is a five. And uh the rest of it's just you know, the finickiness of reality and friction.
Wow, I can't hold it still. I managed to get a 48 and an 8. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> okay, here's a what might be a better test. I've got my treasure chest down here. And I've got it rigged up in the sling to the big load cell. And then the Spanish Burton. And then the pole. So this will be a steady, consistent weight on the end of here. Okay, zero, zero. The chest is off the ground. Looks like it weighs about 15 pounds. And I'm holding it with about four. Try that again. So that's about four to seventeen. That's weird. Hmm. How come only twelve? Oh, there's tension in here. There we go. Let's see. It's about four three quarters to five pounds, holding up nineteen. Our last reading was 182 and 27. What is that? 30 and 180? That's 6. See, that's because I'm the one sitting on it and I'm the one pulling on it. So the frame of reference changes, so it's a 7. When I'm sitting on it and holding it at the same time, and it's a seven to one system. I'm so confused. Okay, I have one last idea to try to quantify this system. I'm gonna lift the box, uh, no load cells, just we're gonna try to see how far the box travels compared to how much rope I have to pull in. I have a slip knot on the orange rope right at the ground. Yeah, I have to start the measurement at the ground and keep it. So, go all the way up. Here's our measurement. Now I'm at the ground. First one. So I've got one, two, three, four. It's five and a bit of rope. So yeah, there you go. It's a five to one. I just proved it. Wow. That's awesome. Assuming that works is, it's, it's got to work that way though, because that's how mechanical advantage works. You can't get power without sacrificing distance. So, I hauled up the box to as far as I can go. I got a unit of how high the box went. And then I paced off how much units 
I had to haul in, and it was about five. So it's a five to one system. 